Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a llama. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a lid, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The two circles should be roughly the same size. Far above the first circle, off to the right, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. The head circle should be about one third the size of the first circle. Llamas have long necks, so make sure that the head circle is high above the first circle. On the right side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of this line in relation to the head. This guide should be similar to an arc on its side. On top of the head, draw two short angled lines as guides for the ears. The guides for the ears should be similar to a capital letter M. Now connect the head to the body using two long vertical lines. The line on the right should curve more than the line on the left. The bottom part of the neck should be wider than the top. Connect the first two circles using horizontal lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the line at the bottom. Under the first circle, draw two long vertical lines as guides for the front legs. Pay attention to the lengths of these lines in relation to the body. The line on the right should be slightly shorter than the line on the left. Under the second circle, draw two long angled lines as guides for the hind legs. Bend the lines in the middle to indicate where the joints will be. The line on the left should be a bit longer than the line on the right. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, on the top right side, lightly sketch a small oval for the eye. Pay attention to the size of the eye in relation to the head. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. On top of the eye, draw a thin curved shape for the long eyelashes. Darken the rest of the shape, but make the sides pointier for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, draw a couple of short curved lines for the iris. Off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Now shade the eye, but don't overlap the tiny highlight circle. Use a darker value in the middle of the eye for the pupil. Add a bit of light value to the eyelashes too. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the eyelid and wrinkles. These lines help to emphasize the shape of the eye. Near the tip of the muzzle, draw a short sloping line for the nostril. Make the line thick and dark. The right side of the nostril should be wider than the left side. Above the nostril, draw two curved lines for the top part of the nose. Draw these lines along the path of the initial guideline. Under the nose, draw a line that curves to the left for the first part of the mouth. Don't draw the mouth too far to the left. 
Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Pay attention to the curvature of the mouth. To the right, draw a shorter curved line for the other side of the mouth. Draw this line along the path of the initial guideline. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Draw the chin along the path of the initial guideline. Draw a few short curved lines around the mouth for wrinkles. Break up the lines to create texture. Use the angled lines on top of the head as guides to draw the ears. First, darken the shape on the left, but make the sides and the tip more curved. Extend the bottom part of the ear farther inside the head. Add a couple of long curved lines within the shape for the ears opening. Add a few short strokes in the ears opening for fur. Darken the shape on the right for the other ear. Draw a line in the middle for the ears opening. To the right, draw a few short strokes for fur. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Draw short strokes along the top of the head for wool. Darken the top part of the initial arc for the top part of the muzzle. The line for the muzzle should connect to the top part of the nose. Darken the bottom part of the initial arc for the lower jaw. Use short strokes on the left side for the wool. Draw a series of short strokes across the head for the edge of the wool. Draw a few more short strokes inside the head to emphasize the structure. Now use the second line from the right that's under the body as a guide to draw the first front leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part of the leg wide and gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. At the bottom, curve the shape to the right for the tip of the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use a series of short strokes along the top part of the leg for the wool. At the bottom, keep the sides close to the guideline so that the leg is thin. Draw two short angled lines on the tip of the foot to split the toes. Now use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part wide and the bottom thin. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Draw two short angled lines at the bottom for the toes. Use short strokes at the top for the wool. Use the angled line on the far left side as a guide to draw the first hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top section of the leg wider than the bottom. The top part of the hind leg should be a lot wider than the top part of the front leg. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short strokes at the top for the wool. 
Bend the middle section of the leg to indicate the joint. At the bottom, draw two short triangular shapes for the toes and nails. Now use the angled line on the right as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the leg when you get the shape right. Part of this leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg. Add the toes at the bottom using two small triangular shapes. Now use the remaining lines and shapes as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for the wool's texture. The longer you make these strokes, the shaggier the wool will be. Draw the underside of the body slightly farther away from the initial guideline. Use longer strokes for the underside of the body. Use a smooth line at the top of the body for the flat wool. On the left side of the body, draw a curved line for the tail. Break up the line into short strokes for a fluffy texture. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay to leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value to create shadows throughout the body. Shadows give the figure more dimension and volume. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Use short strokes as you shade to give the wool texture. Llamas have different types of coats, so you can shade yours differently if you'd like. For a white llama like this one, just add a light value throughout the body. Use strokes that go in the direction of the wool. Add a few darker strokes throughout the body to give the wool more texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of a llama. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the llama. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2 then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.